In business, MV Uhuru 2, the first cargo ship to be built on Kenyan soil, has made its maiden trip transporting steel cargo to Uganda. Speaking at the handover ceremony held at the Kisumu Shipyard Limited on Thursday, Defense CS Soipan Tuya indicated the significance of the milestone, which she says places Kenya ahead in terms of shipbuilding. And as Laura Otino reports, the ship is expected to enhance the cargo capacity of the Kisumu port, which recorded a cargo throughput of 127,000 tons in 2023. At 2 p.m. on Thursday, the majestic MV Uhuru 2 sailed from the Kisumu port loaded with a consignment of steel destined for Uganda. The 2.4 billion shillings ship was built at the Kenya Shipyards Limited in Kisumu by the Kenya Defense Forces with technical support from Dutch company Damen. Defense CS Soipantuya hailing Kenya as a center of excellence in shipbuilding. The shipyard is capable of not only constructing cargo vessels, but also passenger and fishing vessels. Today, as we hand over MV Uhuru 2 to the Ministry of Transport, we are not just transferring a vessel, we are entrusting a legacy. Transport CS Davis Churchill hailed the operation of the ship, which has been designed to not only transport petroleum products, but also dry cargo with a loading capacity of 1,063 tons in every trip. The trip, signifying Kenya's bid to reclaim its position as a prime hub for maritime transport in the East Africa community. The vessel capable of handling uh, just slightly over uh, a 1,000 metric tons of net cargo per voyage will be key asset in fostering trade along the northern corridor to Uganda while extending Kenya's reach into the central corridor via the port of Mwansa in Tanzania. We wish to do every week three voyages, and both going to Jinja, Port Bell and Mwansa, and we expect by the, uh, the targets that we have we, we, we will improve on our challenges. In 2023, the Kisumu port had a cargo throughput of 127,000 metric tons. The entry of MV Uhuru 2 is expected to increase the port's prospects even further and offer more employment opportunities. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV. Huh?